Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Lisa Renee TV. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so today before you leave. And make sure to thumbs up the video if you do like what you see. And to share, share, share on all your social media networking sites that you happen to be on at this time. Hello, 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 and welcome back, welcome back. How have you guys been? I I pray that everybody is well and feeling well. Um, I've been good, uh, COVID free still. So <laughs> I am praying and hoping and wishing the same for you and yours. Um, just been really busy. I am working on um, a new book project, you guys. So get excited, get excited. Uh, so I'm not going to say what it's going to be released as of yet, <laughs> but I'm coming near the close of it. So I've just been working on that. So that's why you haven't really seen me around, but yeah, I've been pretty well lately. So <laughs> just happy about that. But I did want to pop in and say hello to you guys and drop a new video on you. Uh, of, of course, you know, I had to do that for you. Okay, so um, today, this topic came to me like the other day. I was kind of thinking about it, and the title was Don't Be Intellectually and Creatively Lazy. So, that's kind of a lot I know to take in. So, i just been thinking, it just seems like a lot of people, they get kind of stuck, kind of like a hamster on a wheel, you know, with everyday life. And I know it can be kind of complex because, you know, we all have our duties and our responsibilities and we kind of get caught up in that, especially if you work just a normal, you know, 40 hour a week job. And so you can, or more than 40 hours, that's a lot to take in on one person. And so you kind of become lax when it comes to your intellectual skills that you may have or your creative skills. And, you know, it's like you cramp your own style. So you're not really giving your brain a break and you're not giving your, giving your brain time to dream and to really, really laser in and focus on what it is that you really want to do and, you know, who you are. And it's so important to give ourselves that space and give ourselves that time to really, you know, meditate and focus. And speaking of meditation, you know, if you didn't know, it's one of my favorite things to do. I do it, uh, I want to say I do it daily or at least um, a few times a week. And so you want to try to put that into your schedule, you know, try to make some time. Like meditation can be as short as five minutes a day and it can be as long as an hour a day so it just depends on you and you can work yourself up to 30 minutes or work yourself up to an hour depending on you know what you like to do so it's it's just a great way to just quiet the noise of the day and give yourself some time to kind of focus and you know re-energize just for a moment and really think about okay, you know, I am here in this space now, but I want to go to that space there. Maybe in the next year, maybe in the next two to five years, this is what I want to be doing. This is the house I want to live in. This is how many kids I want to have. You know, or I don't want to have kids. I want to travel the world. I want to do this. I want to be married. I don't want to be married. You know, I want to have a just a life companion, whatever it is <laughs> that you want, you know, you want to give yourself time to focus. And so what you want to do is you want to stir up your gifts that you have deep inside of you that you can't keep hidden from the world. You have to let it out and you have to let it shine. So you definitely want to stir up your gifts. God gave each and every one of us gifts that that we have and he gave you tools to use you know to get those gifts out to the world so you definitely want to just let that sink in let that resonate with you for a moment and you have to <laughs> you want to stir up those gifts you know and I, I would say and i know this year has been hard this year has been hard on me too <laughs> you know so you know i'm not saying i'm having an easy time either this year has been rough on everybody it really has but during times of great agony or great stress, 
that's the time to let your gift shine because now you have that time to especially during covid like i mean it's a great time to i mean a lot of people are off work and you know it was just a wonderful time to kind of sit down and really get creative and figure out like okay um i can let, let me let me etch this out let me let me write this out and figure out you know what my business proposal is going to be and what this is going to look like and you know it's just, it was just a really cool time you know i don't know if people agree but this that's what i think <laughs> so this is the time to definitely stir those gifts up now don't allow fear to stop you you are bigger than your biggest fears okay so think about that you're bigger than your biggest fears so I used to, um, when I was in college, I used to exercise at my school's gym. I met, I had a great trainer. He was a wonderful man. I was so happy to have met him. Changed my entire life. He told me fear is only there to caution you, but it's never supposed to stop you. So you want to love life and live out your wildest dreams. Fear will always be present, but it's not in control. So just remember that, that fear is not supposed to control you. So you don't want to allow it to take over. I know fear can be paralyzing. It can be crippling in a sense, you know, but you don't want to make it the master of you because it's not, it's not, <laughs> you know, just always remember, fear is not in control. God is in control, but not fear. Okay. And God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and a sound mind. So you want to always remember that verse as well in the back of your head. And it's only there to caution you. It's just reminding you like, you know, if you take a certain step this way, this could happen or, you know, whatever. Um, but it's there to kind of just safely caution you. That's all it's there to do. You know, that's all it's there to do. But if you want to go, you know, parasailing or something, <laughs> you know, you want to learn how to swim, you want to do this, you want to do a certain type of new exercise or whatever it is, you want to, you know, get this brand new job that you found out and it's like a skill on the job that you are not familiar with, go for it. You know, don't let it stop you because, you know, you have today. The day and the time is always now. It's not later on, but the time is now. Yes, even in 2020, <laughs> even in 2020. And lastly, I want to tell you guys to just let God lead you. Just open your heart and mind and allow the Holy Spirit to walk you through tough times, good times, and help you gain understanding in general. So God is always there with his children. So just always remember that. Let that be a comfort for you. I know life is rocky and it can be kind of scary, especially when we think about pursuing our dreams. You know, I know that <laughs> that could be one tough road, you know, especially when you are trying and you getting doors slammed in your face. You're getting a lot of no's, more no's and no yeses in sight. You know, just remember that is always for a reason. A lot of times God will allow a door to close to protect you. It's not to necessarily reject you. Like rejection is protection, basically. So just remember that if you're going through that right now. Um, but yeah, just let God lead you to where you are supposed to do, where, where you're supposed to be, excuse me, in his own timing. All righty. All right. Well, I hope this, this video blessed someone. And definitely pass it on. If you know someone that needs this video, <laughs> then definitely pass the video on. And I'm going to leave everything that you guys need in the more info box below. My book, Long Way to Love. My first, this is my first uh, novelette. It is still on sale on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. So I will drop that information for you in the more info box below. But other than that, you guys have a blessed week. Happy Sunday. And I hope you had a great Halloween as well. I, I know I did. I relaxed at home so <laughs> and watched movies all day. So hopefully you guys had a wonderful Halloween. You take care and I'll be back later. Bye.